Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Dave Thomas with Cars.com, and we're here with the 2009 BMW 535 Sports Wagon. Now, it only comes with all-wheel drive, it only comes with one engine, and it's not for everyone, mainly because of its price. We're going to walk you through it because it's a lot of fun to drive. If you're taking this car for a test drive, what's really going to win you over is the engine. It's a twin turbo, six cylinder, it's good for 300 horsepower. Now, even though this is a large wagon, there's a lot of acceleration going on, and the best part is it's really smooth. There is a price of entry for all the performance. The 535 wagon starts at $55,000. The tester we have here equipped up to $74,000. Even if you throw out some of the extravagant stuff, I priced it out to $66,000, it's just what you need. Um, a comparably equipped Audi A6 wagon, $61,000 with everything. Can't get higher than $61,000. So you're gonna pay a little bit more for the BMW. If you wanna save some money, get some luxury in a wagon, Volvo makes a very nice one. It's called the X XC70 for about $40,000. But let's see what the BMW has and see if it's worth all that money. Now what someone would expect from BMW is a high quality interior and the 535 does not disappoint. It comes standard with things like leather interior and very nice wood trim. So when you get in it, it's gonna feel like a $55,000 car. You do get some standard features for $55,000 like you should. Chief among them is a new version of iDrive's controller. So it's much easier to use iDrive now the software in our test car hasn't been updated to the new iDrive software. We assume when you go buy one, it will be. So check on that for sure. But the controller alone has been upgraded. There's also a standard panoramic sunroof. It is gigantic, terrific standard feature. Not standard are these contour seats we have. They're about $1,200, but let me tell you, it, they are terrific, very comfortable. I would not skimp out on these. Definitely get the contour seats. What I would kind of pass up on, our tester has night vision. It lets you see stuff on the road you wouldn't see with headlights, kind of like deer on windy roads. That's actually what it's built for. So when you're on these dark, desolate roads, you'll see uh, deer and hopefully not hit them and destroy your $55,000 car. Chances are, if you're buying a wagon, you probably have a family. And small children obviously will fit in the back seat just fine, but they should fit just fine in any car. Uh, as a 5'10 adult, I fit fine as well. The driver's seat is exactly where I had it when I was driving. You can see there's plenty of knee room. My feet have plenty of room underneath the front seat too. Um, shoulder and hip room, terrific. And the seats are pretty comfortable too. If you have very young children, obviously the back seat is quite roomy as well. We have a standard size uh, child seat here in the center. I have plenty of room on the side of it. Obviously two seats could fit on either side as well. And the one nice thing about the 5 Series, it has some very nice latch connectors. Now one reason you get a wagon is obviously for the cargo room and the utility of it. And the 5 Series actually has a very sizable uh, cargo area, um, about the same as the Audi. Uh, also has a very cool retractable um, cargo cover. Usually these aren't that interesting, but it rises and falls with the lift gate. So if you need to get in and get out, you can very easily grab all your stuff and then it closes and covers it all and you don't have to touch anything. The BMW 5 Series is definitely at the pinnacle of the wagon world. That's because it packs BMW performance, the high quality interior, and lots of tech features. Now if that sounds good to you and you don't mind the sticker price, you should go drive one because that performance, that'll win you over. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.